Yo, Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to another one of our vlogs from the South Island. If you guys have been following along with us, you would have seen that the last couple of days we had some brilliant weather, but unfortunately today it looks like it's turned a bit to custard. Rain everywhere. Yeah, we are making our way over to Te Waikorupupu Springs, that's in Takaka, but we'll see how we go. We're hoping this will let up, as that's what it says in the late afternoon, but you know, who knows with New Zealand yeah, weather. And the West Coast especially. <laughs> See you in a bit. Oh, now four and a half hours later, we have arrived at Te Waikorupupu Springs. And I don't know how we got so lucky, but it is clear sky for now. We've got this little patch of a couple of hours of hopefully no rain at all, so we can go check that out. Yeah. Some parts of the drive were so um, foggy, eh? It yeah, like foggy we and going through rainy. A cloud or something. <laughs> Visibility was not good. Yeah, we couldn't see a couple of meters in front of us at some points of that. But pretty excited to go see these springs. Should we go ahead? Let's do it. <laughs> Of all the things that I was most looking forward to on this trip, this was definitely really high up on the list because I absolutely love the Blue Springs up in North Island as well as Hamurana, was yeah, it? Yeah, Hamurana. The other Blue Spring that Peter was talking about is um, Putaruru Blue Spring, which is oh so gorgeous. Yeah, the blue waters are like actually amazing. So we had to see this one too. <laughs> I can hear the water rushing, but I cannot see any waters yet. So I'm really looking forward to this. And Long thank you, Weather Gods, <laughs> for this uh, brief moment of uh, no rain because uh, <laughs> we're going to make the most of it. <laughs> Te Waikorupupu Springs is the largest freshwater spring in New Zealand and the largest cold water springs in the southern hemisphere. It contains some of the clearest water ever measured, second only to that of Lake Rotomaire Whenua and that's in um, Nelson Lakes National Park. But yeah, pretty clear, although I think the blue spring in Putaruru is bluer, but I'm not sure if that's because it was raining so much before so we just can't quite see it as clear here. Still really nice though. There's something about places like this that I really enjoy and I think that's something to do with the water plus the combination of the green plant life. Because I'm kind of one of those weird people who can watch videos of fishes in aquariums for like hours and hours and feel <laughs> massive amounts of relaxation from it. If anyone else is like that, please let me know in the comments or maybe it's just me. <laughs> Look who I found hiding down here. It's a little wecker. Hey, little fella. That took us around about 15 minutes, 10 minutes, something like that. And it does, short. yeah, it does say it's meant to be a 25 minute return loop. But yeah, it was quite short, but still really beautiful. I would say that the waters aren't quite as blue as the Blue Springs and not quite as majestical as that. <laughs> but at the same time, it might just be as Yin was saying because of the rain from earlier on today. As we still have some good weather today, we're going to try and make our way over to the Grove Scenic Reserve. Heard that there's some very enchanting looking plant life that's grown up with the rocks there. So let's go check it out. Okay. So the drive over was 20 minutes and it says that it's 15 minutes to the lookout for this place or 30 minutes if we go by the return loop. We'll see how we go, it is getting quite a bit colder now and darker too. It's your beanie, huh? Yeah, it's my beanie. <laughs> Thank you. 
Wow, it feels like this is some kind of prehistoric jungle looking place. I wasn't expecting it because Peter found this one and I hadn't looked up anything about it. So it was pretty cool so far. I wonder what the other part's going to be. You said it was trees? Trees Strange and caves, trees? yeah. Ooh. I think we found a real hidden gem of a place. This yeah. place is so mega awesome. You got these massive roots streaming down from these rocks that gives you that feeling that we had when we were in uh, Cambodia at the Angkor Wat temples. Yeah. And these rocks themselves feel like they're ancient ruins, even though they're not ancient ruins. We're almost <laughs> at the lookout now. So uh, we're looking forward to going around and seeing what we can see from there too. So far, it's been a great short walk. That was a really cool short walk with the rocks just towering above us. We've arrived at the lookout and you've got this amazing view of the farmland and the ocean with the sun setting. It's really pretty. We did end up doing the full loop. It was awesome getting to see those gigantic boulders and the tentacle-like roots that were hanging down from the above. Right now though, we're headed over to our Airbnb. So we're gonna sign off here for the day. We'll continue and we'll it tomorrow. See you again tomorrow. <laughs> So we have had a full change of plans. Yeah. It unfortunately <laughs> is absolutely bucketing down with rain. So right now we are in our Airbnb accommodation. We're in Brooklyn, which is just um, on the outskirts of Motueka. Yeah. Um, we were gonna head towards some caves for today, but uh, unfortunately <laughs> we called the caves and the roads were closed potentially because of how bad the rain is. Yeah, they were so saying four inches of rain there. Yeah. And apparently here was three inches of rain overnight as well and it's still going now so it's just not very safe for us to go do that Peter's had to reshuffle a whole bunch of our plans of what we are going to do. Yeah, so. we were originally going to make two vlogs from this area. We were going to explore um, the caves and we were going to see the split apple rock. We were potentially yeah. going on a water, water cruise as well. But you know, this is real life right now. Gotta roll with <laughs> you got to roll with it. <laughs> That's the dangers of like vlogging near winter because we're here at the end of um, May, yeah. heading into June and yeah. Um, we are in our Airbnb though, as we said, and this is Barbara's place. We got to meet Barbara last night. She is so super lovely, came to meet us out uh, with an umbrella in the rain. To she warmed up the room, she kept constant yes. communication with us, so yeah. she's super nice. Amazing, she's even offered to cook us dinner tonight because we we're basically going to be marooned here. <laughs> we're going to try go to just a nearby place for a quick lunch and then um, help pick up some supplies for dinner as well. Just yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go. <laughs> yeah. But we can still give you guys an Airbnb tour. <laughs> so Barbara's place is 199 for the two nights that we're staying here. It was really good. We got to have a sleep in today because of all this rain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's the, one of the plus sides of uh, having bad weather. <laughs> yeah. um, it's a rural property and it's in a really beautiful, relaxed garden setting. It would be so nice in summer with the sun, but despite the rain and the cold out there, it was super warm in here, mainly because of the um, heaters, <laughs> heaters, the electric blankets, very spacious, clean and just homey and cozy, which was fantastic. Such a good sleep as well in that bed. We've got lots of cupboard space as well for hanging our jackets and things. A little luggage bay here. And the bathroom is over just across the garage. So we'll take you there quickly. We just need to cut across this garage here to get to the bathroom. And even last night when we had to nip out in the middle of the night to use it, it was warm in here as well. Barbara moves her car when there are guests staying here, so it's it makes really... nice and convenient. Yeah, that's right. It's the bathroom. It's just a little one, but it's very clean, and it's got one of those dome showers, so you're all nice and 
toasty. And then we've got some washing and kitchen facilities yeah, here. Yeah, that's right. A kettle, a toaster and microwave that we can use, and also a little mini fridge there too. She even got us milk. She's just so super lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're going to try head into the town now, which is only a short drive away, I believe. Eh? Yeah, I think it's eight minutes or something like that. Yeah, is. <laughs> so yeah, we go. Hopefully we don't get into like any flooded roads and things, but should be okay. Fingers crossed. <laughs> As you can see guys, we have got some pretty big puddles to deal with on our drive down to town in a little bit. Jin and I have just made our way over to Toad Hall. It's one of these places that you just have to check out because it's so cool inside. It's got all these farmer's produce that you can see in the main hall. And along the side, we're going to be able to choose either cabinet food or food from a menu. I've already looked on Google and I saw a seafood chowder that looked absolutely delicious. So I'm definitely going to go with that. But we'll see what Yen decides to order as well. She's already made herself kind of toasty in the place with the fire. <laughs> Hey bud! Hello! <laughs> We've got seated right next to the fireplace which is awesome because it's so nice and warm. <laughs> Our drinks have arrived though. What'd you get? I got the immunity juice. I feel like I'm getting immunized already. <laughs> Since I did see all the fresh produce in the front, I figured their juices would be super fresh too. I got the Cure. It's got beetroot, celery, apple, Gin, carrot and ginger. <laughs> Let's try it out. How's yours? That's super fresh. Okay, so I know this is a bit unconventional for like a cafe, but I have been craving some Asian food and soup. Not really like seafood chowdery kind of soup, so I got ramen and it's amazing they even had that here. <laughs> this one has egg noodles. You've got some coriander, crispy pork belly. It's a ginger and soy broth. So let's just have a drink of that soup first. Mm. It's really yum. It's like salty. You can taste that ginger as well. But yeah, a very different kind of ramen that I'm used to, but still happy nonetheless. You can get some of those noodles. It's a really strong flavor. The pork belly is yum. I really like the fat egg noodle. That's really good. I saw some fresh farmer's milk when I was exploring the general store area and I asked the uh, nice waiter guy if I could uh, just buy a couple of this and uh, this is what I got. I really wanted to try it. So we wouldn't be able to do a whole liter. That's so creamy. My dad has been known to make the best seafood chowders I've ever tasted. But look at this. This is so creamy and delicious looking. It's amazing. Oh. <clears throat> wow. All right, dad. I think you might have um, competition. competition with this one. <laughs> My goodness, that is delicious. I think it's the smoked fish that's all throughout all the seafood chowder. It gives it a really beautiful flavor. It's slightly smoky, slightly salty. And because I got that muscle as well, adds that extra bit of texture. Oh, that was a delicious bite. I hit it for another one of those. Oh. Potatoes as well. I don't know if you can get any better than that. That is amazing. You're very happy. I am. We're back at the Airbnb and we're gonna wrap our day here off guys because the rain is absolutely relentless. Yeah, unfortunately we didn't get to go to as many places as we were hoping. But, but hopefully you guys still enjoyed what we have seen so far. Yeah, we will continue our vlog next week though. Good luck with the weather again and <laughs> see how we go once we get to Nelson. In the meantime, if you have enjoyed this vlog, don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button. Drop us a comment. We love hearing from you. If you can, please share our videos. That all helps our channel, so we super appreciate it. Until next time. See you then. See ya. Bye.